Welcome to Dragon Quest Builders 2, it's Abyss, and in this video today, I'm going to show you the locations to all three curse items. Now we're going to pick up a shield, armor, and sword, and in the pinned comments, I'll have timestamps for each individual section, just in case you want to jump to any part of this video. Alright, so keep in mind, this is a post-game activity, and the first location that we're going to go to is called the Coral K. It'll cost you 1,500 hearts. You'll need to defeat a super strong Merking to receive a new recipe for the Curse Shield. Next, we'll need to go to the Unholy Island, which will cost you 3,000 hearts. There, you'll need to defeat a super strong Stone Guardian to receive a new recipe for the Cursed Mail. The last cursed item is located at the island called Defiled, which will cost you another 3,000 hearts. There, you'll need to defeat a super strong troll to receive the Cursed Sword of Ruin. Alright, so it's time to go over the location to some rare materials. First one is going to be Orichalcum. You can get this at the island called Defiled. Uh, you'll find a black patch, which will always have one there, but you'll need to use your bottomless pot to scoop it up so you can see the black patch where the Orichalcum is. You can probably get about three to four in a trip, but there's always one in that black patch. <laughs> Next, we're going to go to the island called the Unholy, which will have the Talon and the two different types of horns. These are available in Chapter 6, the last island that you visit, but if you did not pick up enough of them, you will have to travel here to pick up your supplies. Next one, we're going to travel to the island in Chapter 2, the second place that you visit in the game. Use the warp point called the Marsh Room. You'll be able to find some metal slime there. For some silvery sludge, we need to get three of them. Alright, so for the last item, the super sized skull, you'll need to build a tree stump for 50 hearts. Then you will have to unlock the super sized skull for another 50 hearts, but after that, you'll be able to build the one that you need. Alright, so now it's time to build the Cursed Sword, Armor, and Shield. Keep in mind, once you equip any one of these items, you're going to be cursed. 
So at the six minute mark, I will show you exactly how to remove curse items, but it's going to be fairly simple. You need to unlock salts for 100 hearts, use that particular item, and then it will remove any curse items and throw it in your inventory. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you next time. Ha <laughs> ha